Are you wondering how to navigate all the cloud resources available out there? Or even choosing what resources to kickstart your cloud career? Whether you're a beginner or you're looking to sharpen your skills? In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 free AWS resources to kickstart your cloud computing career. Some of them I used and most of them I still use today. If you are tired of seeing courses for sale and are not even equipped, financially to purchase some of these courses these 10 free resources i'm going to share with you in this video today are some of the best and used all over by most of the experts they have beginner projects right up to expert projects and you can start using them today all you need to do is sign up for these courses and start your cloud journey if we haven't met my name is lilian shilika tata and i am here to help you grow your cloud journey or your tech journey so at number one is going to be aws educate first up um this is a program or a course designed for students and educators and aws educate offers a wealth of resources to learn cloud computing you can access um, this through aws promotional credits or even courses or through a job board however best part is that it's tailored for different learning curves from beginner to expert and all you need is to sign up i'm going to put the links in the description box below all you need to do is go sign up for an account choose your level whether beginner intermediary or expert and start learning and building in the cloud the second is going to be aws skill builder so AWS Skill Builder is a platform that provides an extensive range of digital resources in, in courses and training courses. It has learning plans and even certifications. So here you can personalize your learning path based um, on the role you want or the solutions you want to design. If you want a solutions architect, you want a machine learning engineer, you want to be a DevOps engineer, on Skill Builder, you can develop your career, your learning path and follow it accordingly. And it's really, you know, an excellent resource for those who prefer to study in a structured approach, which is usually my preferred approach. The third one is going to be workshops, AWS workshops. Moving on to workshops, if hands-on learning is your thing, you would love this. And if you are into cloud computing or looking into cloud computing, you actually want hands-on learning to be your best friend. That is something I would have loved to know earlier on while starting my cloud journey instead of focus, focusing on certifications. Well, that's going to be a video for another time, but for today, AWS Workshops offers a variety of practical workshops that guide you through real world scenarios using AWS services. And it's truly a fantastic way to gain practical experience. So at number four, we're going to have um, AWS training. And now AWS training is a site that offers both digital and um, classroom training. In the digital training, it's great for self-paced learning, um, but the classroom training, it provides a more interactive environment with AWS experts. And for digital, it's also a very nice way for you to structure your learning path and follow. The only difference is that most times with the classroom learnings, you have to pay a price because of course, you're going to be interacting a lot with experts and all that. However, both ways are very excellent ways to deepen your cloud knowledge. And number five is the AWS free tier. I would say this is a must for beginners, AWS free tier. It, the free tier gives you a 12 month or 12 months of free unlimited access to a range of AWS resources. And this means that you can create your accounts on the console experiment on the console, build on the console, test on the AWS platform without any cost. However, you're limited to a certain number of resources you can use and you cannot go over certain limits as well while using the AWS free tier. But 12 months for free on the AWS console, if you know what that means, this is absolutely a must for everyone who is a beginner in the cloud. It's a no-brainer for hands-on learning and it's just a great way to learn uh, with the cloud. It has some few tutorials for explanation you can go through 
just sign up um, to your free tier account and start exploring the console um, and number six is back to basics and for those who appreciate a straightforward approach <laughs> that's why you have back to basics this series simplifies cloud computing concepts and AWS services it's perfect for those who are just starting out and need clear basic explanations so what I did sometimes if you're just confused about certain terms or what they do their roles their functions just go to back to basics it's very straightforward gives you a clear and concise explanation of what the service is what it does and how you can use it with other services and you know it makes it easier for your learning and by the way just as a side note these services or these um, resources I'm giving you it doesn't mean you can use just one of them you can use as many of them as you can depending on your level of understanding of AWS and what you want to achieve if you're a beginner um, so every resource has its own structure and it's what it's designed for so just go through them look at where you want to start start exploring from the very basics and you can use that plan to move forward with your career and number seven to me is cloud quest <laughs> when i first of all heard about cloud quest and i tried it i just fell in love with it because it's a fun and interactive way to learn aws so it's basically a virtual environment or a virtual cloud environment where you complete missions and challenges it's both hands-on it's visual it's structured and it's a very fun in an interactive way to learn so once you learn the services whatever path you're choosing on cloud quest be it a solutions architect be it a, a cloud engineer whatever it is that you are on cloud quest you just choose your path and cloud quest will take you to that environment to start building and exploring so they assign you a role basically say you're a um, solutions architect they take you through a whole project you either meet with the team discuss the requirements explore the resources that are going to be used and then it also has evaluations that it gives you and uh, this makes it feel it's more like a game than a lesson but it's a very very fun way to implement um, theory you have learned about cloud computing so if you start your certification journey and reach a certain level I highly recommend you try cloud quest because even though it's a game like kind of um, environment it's also a very fun way to learn and um, grow your cloud career app number eight is AWS quick labs quick labs as the name provides lab based learning for AWS and it's um you work in real AWS environments with a step-by-step -step instruction. You gain practical experience and you know, you also get immediate feedback. So it's an interactive way to learn and explore and implement with AWS, which is usually what is recommended. Get as much hands-on or as many hands-on um, projects as you can, so you can familiarize yourself with on those projects. And then at number nine, this is also a resource for basic uh, a basic resource for beginners which a lot of people don't know about but on udemy there's a free aws beginners course you can take so this one was also very useful to me because when i started um most times i just downloaded the udemy app put it on my phone and anything i was doing or anywhere i was going i played the aws course that i had downloaded which is also linked below and i just listened to it so it's called Amazon Web Services and it covers the basics of AWS. It's great for beginners and it's on demand. So you can learn with it at your own pace. And yeah, basically. Now, at number 10 is going to be AWS documents and white papers. And for in-depth understanding, AWS documents and white papers, a lot of people ignore the power of this, but these are invaluable. These resources provide detailed documentation on AWS services and the best practices in cloud architecture. These were also very, very useful to me. Um, a lot of people would prefer either listening or walking, but with documentation, you have a lot of details that are outlined, which you don't necessarily find in a course structure. So they are essential for anyone who is serious about learning and really wants to master it. Yeah, so these are my 10 
free resources that I used and which I would highly recommend that you start using today. To be honest, if you, any of them, if you start with any of them, that's something you're going to learn because even if you're going to CloudQuest, you, it just doesn't take you straight directly to the course you're choosing, but there's a part where you can, you know, I think you can start your introductory lessons um, for the path you choose. And as a beginner, all these courses have something for both beginners and um, intermediary or experts. Now I'm going to dish out a few extra resources that might be helpful as you continue with your cloud journey. First, there are some, um, first let's talk about AWS certifications. So there's times where AWS organizes what is called the certification challenge. And whenever this is organized, um, they give you a period of three months where you can study and after that you get an exam voucher some of these vouchers might be 50 percent off some 75 percent off and if you're lucky you might even get a hundred percent off an exam so these are really good i would say keep an eye out for aws resources you can sign up for notifications on aws so that when these come up um you'd find them i'll do my best to share when i find these also go to linkedin it's a great resource follow some groups and they always share these there from aws educate to udemy courses and from hands-on labs to in-depth documentation other things you could do linkedin learning if you have linkedin learning there's some free courses on it you also have coursera where you have some free aws courses there's a few here and there but to me these are the top 10 that worked and those that i used and those i'm also trying i'm sharing with you today um hands-on labs and in-depth documentation please focus a lot on getting hands-on experience when you learn don't focus on getting the certification and make the mistakes i made um which i'll explain later but make sure that you understand the concept find different ways you can link the services and how the services work together and do as much hands-on labs as you can throughout this journey you know cloud computing is a vast and exciting field with so many jobs from data analyst to security networking um, machine learning engineers devops engineers so there's a whole lot of specialty um specialty jobs around cloud computing and in my next video i'm going to be talking about these specialty jobs in cloud computing giving you um basically some of the salary ranges as a beginner what it takes to learn it and maybe design a roadmap for which you can go through if you want to pursue whichever path you follow now if you found this video helpful i hope you like it and don't forget if you want more about tech tips and tricks and how to help grow your career you can subscribe to the channel channel share your thoughts let me know in the comment section what other videos you would want to see and i'll do my best to research and bring it to you um you know i'm a researcher already so that is something i love doing and i hope you found value in this thank you for watching and see you in the next video